Lyudmila Skribnevo was once the love of Putin's life and the former first lady of Russia. They loved each other for 30 years, but eventually broke up. What's intriguing is that she later divorced Putin and married a man who was 20 years younger than her. Why did they divorce, and what was her life like afterward? But before we get started, this may be the last time you see this channel. So hit the subscribe button for more stories in the future. Let's begin. Russia is an incredibly vast and magical country, stretching from Eastern Europe to the Pacific Ocean, covering 6.6 .6 million square miles. To give you an idea of its size, it's larger than any other country in the world, even beating Canada by 2.8 million square miles. In one of its cities, Kaliningrad, Lyudmila Skribnevo was born in 1958 into a working-class family living in a humble home. Despite the challenging circumstances, she excelled in literature and the Russian language from a young age, nurturing a passion for reading, writing poetry, and aspiring to become an actress. Her childhood nickname, Luda, reflected the warmth and resilience she carried even in difficult times. As Lyudmila grew older, she pursued her education at Kaliningrad Technical University, taking on various jobs, including nursing, post office work, and apprenticeships at a machinery plant. Her determination led her to become a flight attendant before she enrolled at Leningrad State University. There, she studied different languages at the Department of Philology, where she met Vladimir Putin in 1980 during a theater performance. At that time, Putin was not the prominent figure he would later become, but a dedicated KGB agent, capturing Lyudmila's heart with his tough exterior and innate sense of humor. Their love story blossomed despite financial struggles, and they married in 1983, living in a modest 27-square-meter space with Putin's parents. Lyudmila found happiness in their union believing that Poutine would provide her with the security she had always longed for. Their union was blessed with two daughters, Maria Vorontsova, born on April 28, 1985, and Katerina Tikhonova, born on August 31, 1986. After completing her studies in 1986, Lyudmila worked as a German instructor, balancing her professional life with her role as Poutine's supportive partner. Their marriage, though public, faced typical challenges, leading to occasional conflicts. Despite these trials, Lyudmila's deep affection for Poutine remained evident. She once described him as a vampire, acknowledging his flaws but recognizing him as the right man for her. Lyudmila had high hopes for her marriage to Poutine, but reality turned out to be far from what she expected. She regretted her decision every day, perplexed by the change in her husband's behavior over time. Initially, Poutine showered Lyudmila with affection and took her on trips whenever he could. However, the demands of his work eventually took a toll on their relationship. As Poutine's responsibilities increased, he had less time for his wife, leaving her feeling lonely and isolated. Despite her struggles, Lyudmila remained supportive, understanding the importance of Poutine's ambitions. A turning point came when Lyudmila met with a serious accident, and instead of her husband's care, she found herself surrounded by colleagues in the hospital. Poutine's absence during this critical time deeply hurt her. Later, as Poutine entered the political arena and became the president of Russia in 2000, Lyudmila felt increasingly neglected. She realized that Poutine's duty was not only to her but also to the entire nation. While his dedication brought prestige to her, Lyudmila suffered in silence, feeling more like a widow than a wife. Eventually, her patience wore thin, leading to the decision to divorce Poutine in 2013. Before they announced it officially, people were already talking about Lyudmila and Vladimir splitting up because they were rarely seen together. But when they actually announced their divorce, it surprised everyone. Usually, important politicians don't get divorced while they're in office, but Putin broke that tradition and became the first Russian president to do so. Despite the love they still shared, 
They believed that parting ways was the best choice for both of them to lead happier lives. In the years following her divorce, Lyudmila found new love and companionship. In 2016, she married Artur Okertny, 45 years old, a wealthy Russian businessman almost two decades her junior. Their connection seemed to have roots in the past, likely stemming from Okeridny's role as the general director of an event agency, Art Show Center, from 2003 to 2008. During his tenure, the agency organized events for significant clients, some with government affiliations such as Gazprom and Transneft, as well as political entities like the United Russia Party and the All Russia People's Front. After their marriage, Lyudmila and Archer embarked on a new chapter in France, where they purchased a luxurious villa worth $7.46 million. This significant investment symbolized not just their financial affluence, but also a fresh start filled with profound love and security for Lyudmila. Archer's devotion to her provided the meticulous care she longed for, making her feel cherished and valued in a way she hadn't experienced before. In 2014, Putin made a public declaration to the Russian people, stating that he would not consider remarrying until he saw his ex-wife, Lyudmila Alexandrovna, happily betrothed. First, I have to see my ex-wife Lyudmila Alexandrovna married, and only then think about myself. He firmly stated during a televised question and answer session when asked about the possibility of Russia having a new first lady. Despite not remarrying, Vladimir Putin continued to lead Russia to unprecedented prosperity and power. His leadership elevated the country's international standing, serving as president for several terms, and earning him the nickname Putin the Great. Under his guidance, Russia flourished, becoming a prominent global player, and his legacy was etched in the annals of history. In 2014, a big news story came out in Russia, a newspaper reported that Putin was having a romantic relationship with a famous gymnast named Kabeva. She won many medals in gymnastics, but she was banned for two years in 2001 because of using drugs. After her gymnastics career, she worked in politics. She was a member of a political party in Russia and later became the head of a media group. We don't know much about her qualifications for these jobs. There are rumors that Kabeva and Putin have children together. Many people might think Lyudmila is happy and lucky, but we haven't considered her feelings. This makes us question, is having power and status really that important? Do you agree with Lyudmila's thoughts on love? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching.